Hey guys, I'm Will Bender, and today I'll be bringing you a video on the requirements to get your castle from castle level 30 to prestige 5. Now this uh, request came from us directly after my prestige 6 castle requirement video, and the uh, comment comes to us from MK Knight, uh, which he thanked me for the P6 video, and then he said, if you could do P1 to P5 requirement guide, uh, it would be awesome because I'm just P2. And of course, I said, sure thing, and stay tuned, and I would bring it to you guys. And uh, he said, thank you, like your channel, fellow king, winky face. So, MK Knight, and for everybody else who wanted to see this video, this one's for you. Now, just as a disclaimer before we begin this video, I don't know where you are in your... Uh, upgrading stages so some of these numbers might be slightly skewed but I'm basically going to be going over the requirements from when you're castle level 30 to getting to prestige level 5. Now with that being said I will be going over the building requirements and the total badge number for everything. The resource count is going to be slightly off because I'm only going to count the resources that you need from for the wonder and for your castle. For the extra buildings, I'm not going to have those in there because, like I said, I don't know where in production everyone is. But to give everybody a good idea of how many badges it's going to take for all of your buildings, for all of the required buildings that it would take, from a castle level 30 to a prestige 5 castle, it would take uh, about 58,000 badges. And then after that, if you wanted to get P5 troops, it would take an additional 36,000 badges and change, uh, all totaling to a whopping 94,000 prestige badges. So just bear that in mind as we're going through these. But with that being said, since you guys have an idea of the entire badge requirement, let's go ahead and go through stage by stage uh, which each prestige castle will require as well as the wonder. Now, I keep saying the word wonder. I'm actually going to backtrack a little bit because some some people who are only castle level 29 and below may not know this but when you reach the prestige levels it becomes a little bit different than your normal upgrading you see in your normal upgrading you just hit the button once and boom you get one level increase once the time is spent that's kind of the same thing here except now in the prestige stages you have a percent system what i mean by that is every time you upgrade it goes in increments by 10 percent all the way to 20 30 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, all the way to 100 percent. So every time you upgrade, it's going to take 10 upgrades in order to get to the next prestige level. Now that may sound like a lot, but in the beginning it's not as harsh, at least on the, on the resources and the uh, speed ups and the badges. It gets progressively harder as you go higher, but just keep that in mind. And in order to get the actual castle to be upgraded, you do have a prerequisite to meet every time called the Prestige Wonder. And under that, it'll have a certain amount of iron and mithril resources that you'll need, as well as badges and the speedups. But it'll also have building requirements, so you kind of have to catch up some of your buildings. So keep that in mind as we keep going through these. Um, just as a, a last disclaimer, I have screenshots for about a little bit less than half of these, but I will show a graphic where the screenshots are not there. So I've rambled, I've rambled for about three and a half minutes. Let's get to why you guys are here the actual um, requirements. So once you're castle level 30, you first have to build your wonder, which is at the far right of your area. If you don't have prestige castle, you'll kind of see like a square, an empty square, uh, by your water area for the most part, and then you'll kind of see where that is. But for this prestige one, in order to get the first wonder built, uh, it will require castle level 30, walls level 30, farm level 30, and wishing well level 30. So you have to catch up all those things. The castle and the wall, the castle will already be there. So you pretty much have to catch up the walls, the farm, and the wishing well. Thankfully, there's no resources in order to upgrade this particular wonder. You'll just have to use the resources to get up those level 30 buildings. So once you have that, head over to your castle, and then um, you get to upgrade your castle from castle level 30 to prestige one. Now, the resource requirements for this are uh, 4.43 million wood, 4.43 million food, 422k iron, and 27k mithril, plus 100 badges. Remember, times that by 10. Every single time you go up a prestige, you have to times that by 10. And then you get your prestige castle after that. Once you have that, uh, you, you'll start working on your prestige 2 requirements. 
and first you'll need to go right back to your wonder and see how many uh, things will need to be caught up in order for this to happen. So remember, this is where you're going to start upgrading it 10 times like normal prestiges. But the requirements are level 1 prestige wall, level 1 prestige iron mine, level 1 prestige wood mill, and level 1 prestige mithril mine. This is probably one of the easiest uh, wonders in order to upgrade, so you guys have a little bit of um, a breathing room here since the mills don't really cost a whole lot. After you have all that, all the prerequisites are there and you've upgraded the uh, prestige wonder 10 times, you can go back to your castle once again and you will have to upgrade that 10 times. Uh, the Resource requirements are 7.3 million wood, 7.3 million food, 695k iron, and 44k mithril. Once again, these aren't horribly uh, difficult things to achieve, but pretty much after this, it's going to start getting a little bit harder. So now we're going to start talking about the requirements for Prestige 3. So again, you'll need to go back to your wonder, upgrade that 10 times, and before you can do that, the requirements are you need level 2 Prestige Wall, Level 2 Prestige Depot, Level 2 Prestige Farm, and uh, the, the uh, resource requirements, 1.1 million iron, and then you'll need uh, 9 Prestige Bags. I believe there's a, there, there's a Mithril requirement in there. Uh, I didn't type it out on my guide I'm reading in front of me, but uh, hopefully I'll have the screenshot for you guys, and if not, I'll try and provide an accurate number on one of the graphics below. But once you have that Prestige Wonder built, go back to your castle, and you will need to have 13.3 million wood, 13.3 million food, 1.25 million iron, and then you'll need the prestige badges and the mithril, which again is not written here, which I'm actually very surprised that I got cut off. So hopefully I'll have that graphic for you guys as well. Remember, each time, 10 times. Now, once you have that, we can start working on prestige level 4. Go back to your wonder. Get a little repetitive here, I can tell. And the requirements for this, uh, building requirements, are Level 3 Prestige Hospital, Level 3 Prestige Military Tent, Level 3 Prestige Sawmill, and then you'll have your normal uh, resource requirements in there. And then after that, you go back to your castle, which will require uh, 10 times uh, 20.1 million food. I'm sorry, 20. Yeah, actually, yeah. 20.1 million wood, 20.1 million food, 1.91 million iron and 120k mithril, as well as the prestige badge that precede that as well. Now we get to the final one, prestige five. Go back to your wonder, you have to upgrade that 10 times. Once you have prestige level four stables, prestige level four barracks, and uh, the prestige level four iron mine. So the iron mine's not that difficult, but the other training grounds, if you haven't been upgrading them, are going to be annoying. So just bear that in mind, it's just, it, it's just a grind. Once you have that, you can go to your final grind. Go back to your castle. Ten times you'll have to upgrade it again. And you will need 24.7 million wood, 24.7 million food, 2.35 million iron, and 148k mithril times 10. So those are the requirements there. And I'll have a graphic over here for uh, all of the resource requirements for just the wonder and just the castle. Okay, so this has nothing to do with the buildings that you need to have upgraded for your um, for your wonder. And again, I, I only say that because I don't know where you are in your development. These are just the, you absolutely have to have these done no matter what stage that, that you're in. But um, as I always say, Bartholdi really takes kind of the guesswork out of the resource game. Uh, just make sure you have a lot of badges stockpiled whenever you have your events come up where you can go to the welfare store and get like a thousand badges get that thing get it done every time you go to the docks there could possibly be some badges there the hero trials sometimes have badges the dragon trials sometimes have badges attack monsters they have badges that is your biggest difficulty because before this all you had to worry about were resources and speed ups and you can get the resources from your farms from pillaging people and the speed ups just sort of came as you were naturally playing the game the prestige badges add a second level of difficulty plus you have to upgrade each prestige level by 10. prestige 6 is a whole other game but you know this is kind of a shorter video than i thought it would be but uh hopefully it's informative uh, if you have any questions on any of the information that i went over please leave a comment down below i'll be happy to explain it um but yeah hopefully this helps you guys and happy hunting 
enjoy the grind that's the biggest part of this game enjoy the grind you, it's it gets really frustrating when you feel like you have to buy things all the time but you know just enjoy the growth i i knew a guy in my kingdom who just turned level 30 he's been playing as long as i have and he's super excited because he earned it but like i said any questions leave them down below any video uh suggestions leave in the comments down below but thanks everybody who wanted to see this thanks for all the suggestions really enjoy talking to you guys and until next time i will see you on the battlefield